Brother is the voice of the people, the voice of God. Wote tuchambui kama neno. Wadabu ya hii ni Buddha Boss Live manika kinuka tunakausha aspakei mimi ni anka wako wa power Buddha Boss Habu na mali mupe nda kujiatilia Fenye naithi Leo ni Super Sunday and aspakei mtu wangu Super Sunday no mali suwaka tunachambu wa vitu mbili tatu mazeza Biblos Ama related na stories of Biblos Wajua? Related na stories of God Wajangu Kuna kakitu nime kwa nikisikia watu kiongelelea Na nime kwa nikijaribu kukatia zi lakini naona ni muhimu ni kaguzia. Nikoshua mumesikia hii story sana. Wadhi wakisema the voice of the people is the voice of God. Nikoshua mumesikia sekta mbili tatu. Hata a few politicians wakisema the voice of the people is the voice of God. Wata mazee ni try mazee kuangalia hii statement. Nyoni kama mazee na nimekia bunen the most. Buda, nikitaki story, kuna meaning mbili zina come to my mind. Na nikipenda mazee tuangalia hizi story venye tu naifikiria. In life nimekuna baadhi ya si juangi vitu mbovu. Basi ile kidogo muujua unisumbua akili nikisikia kitu, mbona nataka tu na come na na consult na watu ama na story na watu vitu mbili tatu, tu ni kama tunaelewana. Meaning ya kwanza ina come kwa mind yangu ni ati Kuna assumption that Bora sisi, especially in the political context Wenye wali vote ya mse fulani ya kashinda Hiyo nde ilikuwa choice ya God through how wa say So meaning ya kwanza na pata ni ati To the majority mechagua mtu fulani God ame work through the majority Kuchagua huyo mse Kutama <laughs> puni zegi ni kuelewa So let us assume his statement ni ukweli to assume sawa so, sawa so. so nataka kusema either the minority hawakuchaguliwa na god kutumika sio ama in fact tunajaribu kusema huyu god hakuangi god wa hawa minority ni god wa hawa minor, uh, majority in fact probably tunajaribu kusema that god is a god of tyranny of numbers god ana wakigina majority mali iko au sio utaacha kudanganyana na watu wangu. Buda, ni qualities gani hizi God uangalie ndio God aseme anaweza kutumia mse tuanzie hapo. Nini hii uko nayo? Or uko kwa state gani yenye God anaweza sema nitakam ni kutumie wewe kuweza ku speak on my behalf. Wale watu God amechagua ku kwa voice yake, wamekuwa na qualities gani mtu wangu? Ndio tunaweza come confidently tuseme tuko sure voice yetu ni voice ya God Secondly mti yangu let us assume mazejo a eh, God ako kwa hii situation na ame speak in terms of history tumuona God akitumia sana sana minority ama majority in fact mbona naona ni kama God kwa gana tendency ya kutafuta aman si men aman anaweza tumia mbona naona Tendencies and God, by the way, ame go against mali majority wako. Na hiyo imanishi mtu wangu, najaribu kuprush uh, any political agenda hapa. Nataka to understand the context to kisema. By the time to nasema, the voice of the people is the voice of God. Danger iko wapi kwa hiyo statement. Sahi kuna mtu probably ana feel, maze u God wetu ni God wina gani. Anadaji chagu ule mse mimi si kutaka kuwe pale in power. Ile kitu mimi nataka kukushow kwa hii point ya kwanza ni ati Kama wewe in the first place how could yield your will to ask God by the God eh unajua democracy si about will ya God ni about will ya man Lakini man anaweza yield will yake kwa God God aitumie ku use ule msi anataka ku use ku make difference kwa lives of others So utali akikampala hivyo anezambia God God unajua nini Mina kukonsult wewe. Ule mse, wewe utaniambia nipatie hii kura, nitapea hiyo kura. So kama wewe uja yield kwa God, itakuwaje choice yako utasema hii ndiyo nikoshua ni voice ya God. So ule mse alichagwa mtu mingine ilikuwa voice ya nani? Buda boss, 
ama Buddha and what if where we go and kupati instructions not for the sake of the outcome your elections but for the sake of the outcome of your faith bado unajua god akicheki kwa mfano hati yako iko taken na idol worship ya a particular political leader ama kwa mfano ikwe uko na hatred flani uh, flani towards what the flani in god and take me shika hati yako he may take captive are you aware wewe as an individual god and za kupatia instructions za ku vote wewe as an individual not for the sake of the outcome of the election but for the sake of the outcome of your faith in other words ndio your obedience ikwe made perfect wewe as an individual upatiwe instruction patia nani kura ndio maze iku take out of the discomfort out of ile ile uchungu unasikia ukisema aye imagine wewe ni pronasa kwa mfano umeambiwa patia uhuru kura ama wewe ni pro jubilee patia raila kura uimagine ngo kwa uchungu unaweza kwa unasikia for you as an individual ukiobey your obedience it may come to perfection na unaweza ku grow in god who could lead in particular ways So we need to have instruction na God not necessarily for the outcome but for the sake of the obedience yako kwa God. So Buddha tukika down to say me na mimi nime take situation zenye watu wanajiuliza can God use people without their will? As in yani God anaweza decide kama God aseme mimi nimeamua nitatumia whoever it is nimurushe huko ndani. Buddha kuna ka scripture fulani kana nisumbu hapa kwa Matthew 23 eh Matthew 23 37 nasema O Jerusalem Jerusalem you who kill the prophets and stone those who sent to you who those sent to you how often i have longed to gather your children together imagine as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings but you are not willing God nasema kuna vitu wana desire sana kufanya kwa lives za wadhi lakini wadhi hawako wili and kama hauko wili kuna vitu god hawezi move kwa life yako about so by the time unataka kusema hii position nimechukua ni position ya god lazima uweze kukuwa in a place and unaweza kuwa sure that where as a person uli yield your will to the will of god au sio so in this context bro sema tu mimi nilivote nani akashinda Tusiseme the voice of the people is the voice of God. Lakini hiyo siko na nisumbua sana. Yenye na nisumbua sana ni my second in- interpretation ya history. Ni ati the voice of man ama the people can be elevated to the voice of God. Yaani tunaweza fanya sauti ya binadamu ikuwe sawa na sauti ya God. Hiyo ndio mimi nanipatia njeve zaidi. In other words, God ataki speak na men wa me speak utachoose kuona mali majority wako than na voice ya god in fact utakuwa na competing voices between what we elevate as the voice of god versus the real god that can speak wote niombe kwa nini story ni nyeti hebu take acts 12 mtu wangu acts 12 21 in historia herod akinyuria biblos na daivi on the appointed day Herod wearing his royal robes sat on his throne and delivered a public address to the people. They shouted, "This is the voice of a god, not of a man." Immediately, because Herod did not give praise to God, an angel of the Lord struck him down and he was eaten by worms and died. What am I? Yaani Herod hata kupata chance ya kwenda anyore ndiye anyurie. Alipigwa mara hiyo hiyo. The moment watu walisema sauti ya Herod ni kama God ana speak kwetu. Badala Herod kuambiwa dhi. Zi 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 zi. Mimi si God. Mimi ni mwangia kama mtu wa kawaida. Boss, do Herod ali feel mazio moment akona eh. Hiyo sauti ni sauti ya ka God mtu wangu. Eh. Hapo hapo Kongo akanyuria hapo na kadishiwa na worms mtangu the moment unasema voice of the people ni sawa na the voice of god your story i bless heart ya god 
na if God anaweza come and you reherald mara hiyo hiyo Sasa kuimagine anaweza do nini kwa sisi wenye tunapiga hapa kifua tukisema the voice of the people is the voice of God Na tuseme zile examples zimeshona kwa Bible zenye watu walichagua vitu zao mtu wangu Ni the people waliambia Aaron Aaron tujengee maze Mungu tunaweza omba Moses amekaa sana juu ya mountain wakatengeze wa kangombe mtu wangu nikapigwa kalebo pap hapo kando na wadhi wakaanza kubao waki worship kalfu mtu wangu the voice of the people is the voice of the people and the voice of god is the voice of god at freddy budabus <laughs> baraka men <laughs> Us. Us. Mm-hmm.